morning guys as you can see I am up very early they have almost not started the lifts yet and uh, I'm here all by my own the other guys are still in the cabin but they will arrive soon I have time for a first lap and it's gonna be a beautiful day as you can see the snow is hammering down today as well and yeah let's go I spent so much time there down at the lift making some nice shots so William joined me here for the first track. Do it! Show it! conditions in the slopes today are excellent it's a little bit hard underneath and then we have like five centimeters or so of fresh snow on top of that and it's just perfect it is excellent isn't it William yes yes let's do a third lap are you ready guys Not ready. let's do it As you can see it is dumping down snow today and the conditions are almost superb. Let's do it again. Indeed, if you want to ski some good stuff then you need to put in some effort. How's it going Alice? It is easy, it is worth it.
Oh. <laughs> now it's time for a sauna. Uh, we have a sweet little lasagna in the oven here. Pretty nice. It is only 100 degrees in the sauna. Oh! I closed the door now. No! Do not do it! <laughs> Let us do it! Very nice. Very nice. Vira, vira, vira! <laughs> But then it's like five centimeters of pal on the top. What is this? Huh? Conditions are extremely bad, but we have like five centimeters of power for ourselves. Let's see it.
time I feel extremely lucky. Enrique and me, we just came out of the sauna and the kids are doing the tacos for the dinner. And not only that, they are also looking at the greatest blogger all time on the big telly here. That was a great idea, kids. I love ya. It is now time to end this series of vlogs from this skiing holiday. We have been out now for nine days and we are going back tomorrow. Uh, we started off in Vemdalen. Uh, one day of skiing and then we decided to go to Schittelfjell and we have been here for seven or eight days or something. Schittelfjell is actually an extremely good place. Um, it's a bit further, uh, it's about 850 kilometers from Stockholm, but it's definitely worth the trip. And what is really spectacular with Schittelfjell is that there are no people here almost. Uh, some days we are basically skiing by ourselves. Today for instance, it was like we in the mountain until like 11 o'clock and then maybe 10-15 guys showed up, not more than that. So, 10 days on the road has now come to an end. It has been super good, right? No, really, yeah. Sweet. And the skiing has been kind of different. We have been really lucky. Most days here in Schittelfjell it has been actually snowing quite a lot. So, great skiing. Um, until next time we say bye bye or something? Or? See you, bye bye. Bye bye.